What is up guys, today we're going to be focusing on another Warlock Stasis build, but this time we'll focus on getting unlimited grenades at your disposal with a short cooldown rate like never before. This build here will utilize the Whisper of Shards artifact, Cold Snap grenades and Variety Brow Exotic to create a not only lethal grenade with x5 buff damage, but also having a regen discipline speed at within 10 seconds or less. This build is rather simple and easy to pick up on, and you'll always in some way or form be creating grenades by the bucket loads, and because of the way the build is designed, you do not need to spec fully into the discipline stat at all. Compared to many of the other grenades builds, this build here can be used in endgame, solo, or with other players, and it can be fully utilized with other subclasses plus weaponry you have available. So what I have to show doesn't mean you have to have the same thing, which is a great pro of course but it would be recommended you follow what I have. The last build we did focused on buffing all of our stats at once, and then the build after that focused on specking into the melee aspect of the build. So now we have come full circle and will complete the grenade aspect of the build, and hopefully you'll have three choices in terms of picking how you want to go ahead and play. Now for the subclass, we're going to be using the Shade Binder subclass with Ice Flare Bolts, and utilizing the Whisper of Fissures fragments to enhance our stasis destructor capabilities, and the Whisper of Shards for a temporary boost in grenade recharge rate upon stasis destruction. And these two in hand are what's going to make the build incredibly powerful in any circumstances. Like the last build done that focused on melee regen cooldowns and then a all ability cooldown setup, this build will follow suit for the grenade regen cooldown, and I would say it offers a much quicker cooldown than the ones before since you're going to have more options available to reduce your discipline speed and the synergy between the mods, perks and exotic being used is quite insane as well. As the use of stasis will be widespread and these charged fragments will keep occurring, this will make a very nice setup to run in the dungeons for example, or even nightfalls, where you're going to need to constantly reuse your grenades all the time, and as long as you have a frozen target available, you can make use of the two fragments at its fullest. We're also going to be adding in the use of Salvation Grip Exotic Heavy Weapon to further aid the build as it does synergize with the fragments, so now you have a third option available of Quick Access Stasis. For your grenades, I've chosen to use two which varies from time to time. Dust Field is a great option to use when up against a large group of enemies and I found that it's best to use for getting quick and near instant grenade energy back with the following combos. Now Cold Snap is also great for seeking and freezing targets straight away which provides a more instant route for gathering grenade energy when you need it most. For weapons, you're going to want to have the Demolitionist perk available for both your primary and secondary to fully maximize on the build itself. Your heavy should be the Salvation Grip as mentioned earlier, but you can get away with not using it at all. My primary is the Enigma's Draw with 4 all-term Demolitionists, nice little backup weapon to have if you don't have a Breach Light which is more superior sidearm to main. Quick, reliable and it hits quite hard, the Enigma's draw will be useful when up against a major or a bunch of enemies who like to rush you. The roll I have is the ideal roll you want to have as with the 4 auto available, you can be more consistent with landing all your shots on one target rather than single shooting everyone. And then the Demolitions puck will come in handy for netting more grenade energy as you go. But at the same time, if you have a very strong secondary with the demo perk, then the last slot can be freed up for a damaging perk instead. For your secondary, I'm using the Gnaw and Hunger with Field Prep and Demolitionist, and this is a weapon that very much suits a large number of builds for all types with its strong and flexible stats, plus perks. The weapon with the use of the demo perk will allow me to gain a consistent boost of regen rate, but at the same time, it pairs really well with the Sustained Charge mod for the Charge with Light and the Fire Power Times 3 mod for a 60% grenade regen. Now, every time we get a multi kill with a weapon, we will become charged with light with it and then use our grenade to proc both the Demolitionist perk and the Fire Power mod, to which we should be fully refunded again and again. Now, remember, this can be done with other weaponries as well, and I would recommend you try it with the Marty's Retribution Grenade Launcher as well, if you can generally get your hands on it or try to get the new one that's been released for this season, as both of them has great range and radius and it pairs extremely well with the setup in mind. For Heavy, I've chosen to use the Salvation Grip Grenade Launcher to further aid us in the boost of grenade energy synchronization via the artifacts. Now, this is simply all the weapon will be doing and nothing else more from there, 
which leaves you empty for a heavy weapon you use against bosses. Now this shouldn't be a big issue as you switch out your heavy for something more DPS wise and still retain the full power of the build. But it also means that you won't have a fallback option to rely on if your abilities aren't available, which shouldn't be the case, but it's just a what if. For the stats, it's going to be the same thing like always with recovery and resilience being in the 50 to survive longer encounters, and then the stats such as the discipline being at 40 to 50 to be at a reasonable level. Now do remember, the discipline stat does not, and I mean does not, need to go any higher than 50 if you have the following mods and perks as I do, as it will be going all to waste generally. Because of how much synergy is occurring, you can have your grenades at 40 or even 30 if you wanted to, and still greatly benefit from it overall. I would only recommend you have it higher than 50 if you don't have the mods I have or the exotic available, or if you just want to put an extra stat into it just because. Now depending on how your armor stats are, this will vary with a number of you as to what you want to spec into next once you have the main stats completed. Now I would recommend you focus your efforts into the intellect area as this will be an area that's always going to be on a vast cooldown whilst playing, or spec more into the recovery area for a higher tier PvE content or generally PvP content as well. For armor, your armor just needs to be able to support the charge with light mods and ideally the firepower mods times 3. This also means you're going to need 4 solar pieces to pull this off, but that should be fairly simple to do. Your exotic armor piece will need to be a solar affinity as well, but customization options are freely available for you if you have something else in mind. Now here are the mods we're currently going to be using as we cover the main aspects of the build, so this will be the final section that we need to cover, and then we'll go ahead and look into the pros and cons and how the build plays out. Now for head, we have discipline and firepower mod. Arm, we have minor resilience, overload rounds, impact induction, and sustained charge mod. Chest, we have resilience, concussive dampener times 2, and firepower mod. Leg, we have discipline, innovation times 2, and firepower mod. Bond, we have minor discipline, surge eater, perpetration, and stacks on stacks mod. So when I say this is quite an insane build to play around with, I truly mean it. This build is simple to understand but will greatly benefit you with a near instant grenade at your disposal and the effects are truly magnificent. With the cold snap grenades for example and ice flare bolts and whisper of shards plus fissures, every time we freeze a target and destroy them, we will receive a quantity of grenade energy boost from the shards artifact which caps out at 10 and can keep refreshing it over and over again. And then, at the same time, destruction of stasis enemies will cause more damage and radius to those affected, thanks to the Whisper of Fish's perk in action. With these two, it can constantly refresh the abilities over and over again, and adding in the Salvation Grip can also help with maintaining it even further, as destroying more stasis shards from the weapon also count. Pushing this even further, we have the Charge of Light mod, a Firepower x 3, where we can get back 60% grenade energy back as long as we are charged with light. And then you have the Variety's Brow, which will provide a 50% grenade damage boost at times 5, which will always be active when using the build, and a further boost in grenade speed as well. And then with the Death Throws active near teammates, you can also boost your teammate's grenade cooldown for a few seconds, which can be truly godly when another teammate is also using a grenade build like this or similar. The way the build works when everything is together is that you can throw your grenades, get a target frozen, destroy them and spread the stasis to others, gain grenade back again and charge with light, throw your grenade again with the varieties and firepower mod active, and just keep repeating the process over and over again. You're literally getting your grenade back every few seconds and this is just nuts to use when in action, as the only other build I can think of that reaches this level of cooldown is Bomb Tree Titan with Hallow Fire Heart, or Warlock with Devourer and Nezrak Sin. A build like this will be useful in your general run of the mill content that will have plenty of enemies to face like strikes, public events, gambit and raids encounters to a degree, but I can also see this being useful in PvP to a degree as well, as the charge of light mods may need to be adjusted, and then have even end game content such as nightfalls with weapons being adjusted to the cred modifiers being used. The positive outweighs the negative of the build and I highly recommend you give this build a go considering how powerful the subclass is, and the synergy is perfect for you and your team as well. 
Overall, you're going to be spamming your grenades as fast as the game can track, and generally as fast as you can keep throwing, and generally that is just perfect build to use for all users in mind, from new players, hardcore players, to even the casuals. So by all means, go ahead, try this build out, have fun with it, see where it plays with you, and if it's perfect, by all means, you're welcome, and if not, well, customise it to your liking. So, if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one.